Hey, this is John. This is uh, part three of uh, painting the trunk on the 300E. And uh, on part three, I've uh, painted the trunk and this lower panel on um, part one, two. And uh, now I'm going to try to get rid of these wonderful runs. There are some runs. Think I can do it? Look at that, that's just, that's hideous. Trunk hair is pretty, pretty good. I can still color sand it. It's, uh, I'm in Southern California. It's 62 degrees and it is June and it is cold for June it's okay um, I put four coats of paint on this car it's a single stage Arctic white matches pretty good got it from TCP global um, I painted the van with it and uh, we had a half gallon left over still got more left over it so I thought eh, Arctic white maybe it'll match the Mercedes pretty damn close. I mean, can you tell? Stoked. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, with a razor blade, I'm going to finish uh, trimming these little, uh, these little uh, runs that are right here. Got to use two hands to do it, but... Just go along and you cut them down and then I'm gonna sand it with some uh, 400 and I'm gonna graduate all the way down to 2500 and then I'm gonna polish it out. See what I do is I put uh, masking tape at either end so these sharp edges don't dig in and it gives a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a uh, buffer so you don't Go all the way through. Oh, so I got it, all this uh, cut down as much I want, as much as I want with the uh, with the razor blade. Now I'm going to um, do some sanding, and it's just basically wet sanding. You can find all this information on the internet, but this is just my experience of doing this wonderful job. So it's just a little bit of water. Get, have a sponge. There's some used 400. Already, already got this part done, so. I got a rubber, uh, a rubber deal on here to keep it flat. And luckily I put four coats on here, so. So this is what you do, you just sand and you can see the, the runs disappearing just don't want to go over any, any edges but yeah that's all all you do and you just keep working at it okay so i got it all uh wet sanded uh what was it 400 600 800 uh, 1200, 2500. So I can still see a little orange peel in it. There's some holes that that are just, I don't know, they're just, must have been grease or something. I cleaned the, cleaned the panel with solvent and all that, but crap happens, I guess. Anyways, now I'm going to uh, just buff it out. I'm not taking all the orange peel out, but, you know, there's about a half hour of just multiple sandings. Just did the, that one area to see how it comes out. Now I'll uh, foam pad and some turtle wax. Yeah, well, my $9 buffing kit just arrived. 
from Amazon. It's pretty cool. It's just it's uh, Velcro. It just sticks, you know. Check it out. It's got these different uh, different type sponges. It's probably crap, but it'll just go in uh, on a drill, and uh, then I can get the uh, you know, the bottoms there. Anyways, let's take a look. So I buffed this out. Not perfect, but you don't see those nasty. Still got some little pinholes here from when I was painting, I guess. And I can see reflections, which is good. I just went over it a, a little bit. I didn't do like, you know, a super, super job, but <clears throat> I'm so glad I got the runs out. Yeah, there's still, there's still some more sanding to be done to get it perfect, but, uh, you know, I did a little up here. I can feel the orange peel. I can feel the orange peel. Yeah, little nibs, nibs they call it. Another little pinhole here. Ooh, run here, yeah. It's not, not too bad. I gotta work on uh, that, oh, that lovely area. Wonder if I could get, get this, uh, this, is, this panel is made out of plastic. So I don't really care under here because you're not going to see it because there's going to be that strip there. So on to the next. I'm going to start working on that one. It's coming along. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, don't see the runs. See the little pinholes, but that's that's about it. I'm sure when it's sunny, it's really hard because it's it's really overcast. June gloom, they call it. And then there's that one sag that's it's pretty much freaking gone. So what's nice about this single stage is it has the clear coat inside of it. So when you put a lot of... Uh, when you put a lot of paint on there, you can keep sanding it down and then buff it up and it's, you know, shiny again. But when you have the two-stage paint, then you lay down a, a base coat of just color and then you spray it clear. Most cars are done that way. And when you get orange peel with uh, that type of uh, paint, um, they're always really paranoid of sanding down the clear coat down to the base and then you're screwed you got to paint the whole thing over again but with this single stage it uh, doesn't do that it's integrated clear coat um, they use it a lot for like fleet vehicles you know I mean uh, but you can use it on cars a lot of people do and paint is super expensive especially the base coat clear coat I mean phew, you should see the prices on, on buying paint it's insane anyways now I've got these lovely little drips it's gonna be fun getting these out but I'll get it out this wasn't really that hard to do you know and luckily it's a white white car so you don't you don't really notice a whole lot and, you know it's hard to see uh, imperfections but you can see like I, I stopped right about here and you can see the you can see the orange peel yeah it's got some nubs in it have to redo this or redo that one right there but uh, at least the the horror story for that is good enough for me all right and on the bottom part down along here and it's not perfect but 
you know there's some areas that just burn through a little bit but at least there aren't those horrible horrible freaking runs and the whole thing no i mean it's not too bad so for a minimal amount of money you can get stuff done you know and have it look fairly decent it used to be the whole clear coat was all peeled off and it was just it was so depressing to look at um, I could probably put that black strip back on there that I have now right there it's not perfect either but but it'll uh, it'll definitely work and look a lot nicer I might do that I might do that for now it's a clean car sand the top of the trunk but this whole bottom half is done I put the black strip on it's looking pretty good one part did start cracking again right there but I could fill it it's not bad thing is broken in uh, what four places Looking pretty sweet. My son's got to get a new uh, California license plate with the cool lettering and stuff. So I uh, touched up this thing here on the uh, on all of these old, at least '90s Mercedes. My SL has it. There should the the bottom right here should be black, all right? So I just. Uh, took some black paint and uh, put that strip down there and uh, when the cars get older that just disappears the cars got what 149,000 miles the SL has got 38,000 miles and it still has that nice shiny black so it kind of uh, it kind of sets it off you know uh, when it's outside you know so all those little touches make a difference. Yeah, one thing I got to do is I cleaned up, uh, well, I cleaned this thing up and painted it, painted that strip black, but I have to put it back on the car. So I went the cheapest route I could. I got this off of Amazon. It's for uh, indoor, outdoor. That was like under $4. And I just need a little bit, you know, and it's, uh, and I like uh, two strips like this. So I'm just gonna uh, peel back, stick it on, and then cut it with a razor blade along here and along, you know, a couple spots here, here, here. And then uh, stick it on the car. I should have measured where the old one was, but I didn't. <laughs> But uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I found this on the internet. Um, pretty sure it's for uh, W124. You can see right. Uh, looks like 21, 21 millimeters up from the bottom. Uh, below this is where that handle strip thing is. And then... 25 millimeters from this point here to here the emblem starts right it's an old picture it looks about right here yeah so uh, tonight I'm going to measure it. This is a picture of the car, um, <clears throat> one of the local wineries. This is several years ago. It's probably oh, yeah, two and a half, three years ago. Um, one thing about this car that's always had an issue is this trunk. When we first got the car, the uh, the trunk was sitting up like about that high right here on the both sides and I uh, 
this was years and years ago, and I was going, what is the deal with that trunk? It looks like somebody took it off and put it back on and didn't put it on right. That's why I think that this is a different trunk because, uh, because of that. Um, it just didn't fit, it didn't close right. Um, there was, uh, I don't know if it got damaged. Um, there was a dent right here. I took the dent out. Um, and there was some Bondo over here. So who knows what happened to the car. Um, but to realign it was a big pain in the butt. I had to go inside, take the back seat, uh, back part off and then kind of like laying on my back and looking up it was really uncomfortable i had to adjust the hinges back there to get it to close like it does now but um it's funny when we first got the car it had a blown head gasket my son and wife bought it oh we just bought a mercedes 300e on eBay and I go well you should have waited for me I was at work so it came from Malibu from some dealer and I paid to have it flat bedded here and discovered it had a blown head gasket the dealer reimbursed me $500 I think they paid God, what is it? it was like $3,800 which is way too much um, I think it had 120,000 miles um, but it had, it was filled with ants, black ants. And it took me two and a half weeks to get rid of these black ants. They had colonies inside this car. I took the interior and just cleaned it, steam cleaned it, you know. I found a, just can, melted candy bars under the seats. And, and it was, uh, I found a, a business card for the girl that, the original owner. And she was some kind of wildlife photographer up in uh, up in Northern California. And so she would drive this thing, you know, dirt roads, through bushes and stuff, because there was a lot of scratches, you know, all over the car. The bump, front bumpers still has some of them. I've taken care of a lot of it, but yeah, the girl pretty much thrashed the car. But anyway, so uh, that's where the, uh, that's where the emblem is, and I'm going to, uh, Go ahead and, and uh, install it. Okay, I've got it uh, marked per instructions. So it's about right, right about there, like that. And I just got all the stuff. I just gotta peel off the stickies and put it on. Ta -da. That worked out pretty good. Looks a lot better now. Back end is complete. Um, yeah. Still haven't color sanded this. I might wait and do that later next week. Uh, but for now, I think this car is pretty much dialed in. What I do need to do to really set it off is uh, repaint the the rims um, I've done it once and that was eh, maybe four or five years ago um, but the the front ones get a lot of heat and so um, they start fading especially on this side here Um, I don't know, the sun here during the summer, if it, it hits this, and I just, I don't know. But uh, last time I used some, uh, some wheel paint, silver, just got it at Lowe's, and I got a clear coat for it. But they look real nice when they're, when they're fresh. Um, other than that, on this back end, all I have left to do, I got one little run right here, I noticed. I'll sand that out. 
I've got to put the trunk liner back in. Um, there's these little, these little clips here. I gotta figure it out. I think I broke some of them, or I don't know. I think it's, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna hook up the light, vacuuming it out, vacuum it out a little bit. You can see all the runs here. Not, I didn't do the best job, but you know, for just being an amateur and doing it at home. And it didn't cost me a whole lot. Yeah, this poor car's been through some some nasties. But she's looking fine now. Well, that's about it for uh, for now.